A recent University of Michigan retirement study found that only 18% of baby boomers could answer a question on an exam about compound interest. 18%, so that means that eight out of 10 baby boomers don't understand how compound interest works. Well, that's a problem and we're gonna solve that today. What I have on the board here is the equation, the formula for computing basic compound interest. Now I know what you're thinking, Derek, what is this algebra calculus business and why are you hitting me with it so early in the morning? This says that future value is equal to the present value times one plus the interest rate raised to the term of the investment. Holy cow, what is that all about? Well, we're not gonna worry so much on all the mechanics and the math, but it's important that you understand it. We have to understand that the future value of an investment is the function of its current value multiplied by the interest rate raised to a certain amount of time that that money's actually invested. So here's a good question for you, and this is very similar to the question that came off of that University of Michigan study. If I invest $1,000 for five years at 10% interest, what is that $1,000 worth at the end of five years? Well, most people, what are they gonna say? They're gonna say, well, 10% of $1,000 is $100. $100 times five years is $500. So that must be $1,500, right? $1,500. The truth is that when you actually work out the numbers, the answer turns out to be 1610. Well, how does that happen? It happens because in the first year, the interest is $100. But in the second year, your principal is now $1,100. The first $1,000 plus the $100 from the first year, right? What's 10% of $1,100? It's $110. When you start to carry this out over those five years, you wind up five years down the road with $1,610, not $1,500. Now think about that. Think about the implications. The interest is actually making interest. This is why if you were to take $470, which happens to be the average car payment in this country right now, and multiply that out, that investment out on a monthly basis over a 10 year period, you'd wind up with over $96,000 invested at 10% interest. But guess what? You only contributed just a little over 56,000. So you've got almost $40,000 right there, purely in interest. That interest keeps adding and compounding, adding and compounding, that's how compound interest works. When interest makes interest, you make a lot of money. So think about that the next time you invest anything, whether it's $100 or $1,000, you're gonna come out ahead. Albert Einstein says that interest compounding is the most powerful force in all the universe.